Hi, hello and welcome to Problem Solving and C Programming. Today we are going to see about control statements. Myself, I am Dr. Uma, professor in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering from Hindustan College of Engineering and Technology, Coimbatore. Selection statements in C can be classified into one-way decisions, two-way decisions, multi-way decisions. Also, we encounter what is called as the dangling hills problem while making use of decision statements. This slide gives us the syntax for making use of one-way decisions as well as the flowchart for using the if construct. The test expression is first evaluated. If it uh, is true, then statement T will be executed. Else, the control will be transferred to the statement following the test expression. This slide gives us a sample algorithm as well as the C program for finding the largest of the three given numbers. We get three input values A, B and C and we are finding out the maximum of the three given input values. The equivalent C program is given on the right hand side. First we are setting the variable max equal to A. If B is greater than max then max is set equal to B. If C is greater than max then max is set equal to C. Finally, we have the largest value in max and the largest value will be printed. The equivalent C program is given on the right hand side. We make use of the printf statement in order to print any information onto the display and we make use of the scanf statement in order to get the input values from the keyboard. The two way decision statements using if else statement is given in this slide. This is the syntax and this is the equivalent flowchart for this if else construct. Initially we have the uh, test expression evaluated. If it is evaluated to true then statement T will be executed else the statement F will be executed and the control will get transferred to the statement following the if uh, uh, statement itself. Multi-way decisions is also possible by combining any number of if statements and else statements. So this is a sample if else if later and the general format of switch statement in order to provide an alternate for multi-way decisions using if else construct is given on the right hand side. Here we are having the switch followed by the expression and this is evaluated based on the value of this expression the statements against each of these cases will get evaluated and control will get transferred to the statement following the each switch statement itself. The flowchart for the if else if construct is given in this uh, slide. First we are having the test expression that is evaluated. If it evaluates to true then statement T1 will get evaluated. Otherwise uh, we go for uh, evaluating test expression 2. If it is true then statement T2 will get executed. If it is false test expression 3 will be evaluated. If it is true then statement T3 will be executed. If it is false then test expression N will be evaluated. Then if it is true statement TN will get executed else statement TF will get executed. So this is a sample program in order to check out if the given number is a 0 or positive or negative. We get the input value with this statement scanf and we are checking out if it is greater than 0. If it is greater than 0 we are displaying x is positive. If it is equal to 0 it is displayed as 0. If it otherwise if it is not positive or 0 it is considered to be negative. Nested if. Nested if can be a uh, can be coined in any way using uh, construct1 or using construct2 as is given in this uh, slide. The equivalent uh, uh, program for finding the largest of three given numbers using nested loop is given in this slide. The dangling else problem is that take for example we are having uh, a statement like if test expression a then if test expression D statement BT else statement AF. So here this statement AF and this else are with respect to test expression A. Whereas 
we have this statement AF combined along with the previous if statement. So, this is wrong. So, how we can solve this one is shown in the next slide. So, this can be solved by making use of empty or null else statements as is given in this slide or we can also make use of curly braces in order to separate it out. Thank you.